And what you, I know, and then what you did at Move It last year, I mean, I was, yes. I mean, I know I was biased because Benji was in it, but it was so incredibly creative, and the costuming, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it was at Leanne who choreographed, Leanne Hughes. Leanne Hughes choreographed it, um, and I think between, Leanne's always got a very creative image for things, which is amazing, and we're quite lucky that we do have so many teachers who can teach the syllabus and stuff, but they're also really creative, and that's exciting. They want to do creative work, and because we can store it and build that up for like Move It's once a year, the six form showcases once a year, our full school shows every two years, it lets us build up that kind of thing and then really go full out on stuff. Like Move It last year was incredible, and the level of dance, I'm like, it's just sat, and obviously we rehearse it in a studio with legs flying everywhere, I'm like, it's mad. And we've been rehearsing our pieces for Move It this year, and the videos will be out by now. And the work quality that our students on sixth form, it, I forget they're 16, 17, mm. 18. And it's also a problem when I'm like, I'm having a go at them. I'm like, why have you not done that? And then I'm like, hold on a second. For kids. At your age, <laughs> at, my, when you're at your age, I was like having a mental breakdown. <laughs> you know, and it's crazy. Mm. And you know, our sixth form, I think last year, out of 25 students, we held over 80 places at top level drama schools, like GSA, RCS, you know, all these places with students training, training at RADA. And but everybody gets a place, don't everyone, they? Everyone, and multiple places. Yeah. And we support for what they want to do, and it's about guiding them on their path to get them there. And it's so individualised. You know, we get government funding on six form, I think it's roughly for about 15 hours a week, and then there's a bit of a top up fee for the other few. Because we teach 25, 30 hours, and people are like, well, why don't I go somewhere else for 15 hours? And like, you can what makes us stand out, what makes our students amazing and incredible is the extra stuff. Mm -hmm. The stuff they're not always assessed on, like Move It, they're not assessed on Move It, but we drill hard, really difficult choreography into them because we know they can do it. Um, this year we've done a six medley, which... Um, Love six. What an incredible show. Just explain what six is. Six it is, is like the story of, the, best of seen. the six wives of Henry and it's just, on paper, I was like, I'm not going to see that. And then my friend was in it, I was like, okay, I'll come see it. I was like, whoa, what have I just watched? Insane vocal talent. Unbelievable. I mean, like, on another level. On another level. These, it is like, what, maybe 10 songs, a few group ones, and six solos, which are like all 11, like and traditional clever, 11 o'clock numbers. Clever, funny, it's witty, yeah. it's clever, it's, yeah, it's so interesting. I did not expect it. So when James was like, we're going to do a six medley, I was like, oh no. I was like, if we're going to do that, we have to do it right. Mm. And we worked hard on making it, des we designed it right. We worked with so many versions of this medley to get it right. And then we went to studio two weeks ago and filmed it. And I think we started at, I met them at the main building at half seven in the morning. And we got them all dressed, all made up, and we finished about four o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. And the video was insane. Oh, I can't wait. And I'm so excited. The vocals on these girls. And then we just were like, how do we make this different? Let's throw nine of our best dancers at it. So we auditioned for it and they done this. And it's just what an experience. And like, we don't just take the piece to move it. We film it. And we have an amazing film for Carl who, and his team who he brings in. And it's like, yeah, that, that's why you pick us. Because mm -hmm. that's the stuff we offer. Like, we now have started doing like promotional videos for students throughout the school. And it's like getting more students in front of a camera, getting like, it's extra experiences. And if that's not your thing, that's okay. You just do your class, that's fine. But if you want to do this extra stuff and we are training you right, then yeah, let's throw it at you. Absolutely, I mean, it's incredible. And you've got lots coming up this year. So first we need to mention is the Easter. Yeah, so we're running two Easter school days. We're running one in musical theater, which is on the 16th of April and one in Bali and Dance, which is on the 14th of April. So we have uh, special guest stars who generally will work on the West End or touring, who will come down for a day. You do a session with one of them and you do a session with one of our team. And uh, that's like from 10 till four, you do two sessions and then at the end of the day, parents come in and watch what's happening. It's like a short version. We do summer schools every year, which is like a week of musical theater, a week of dance or a week of acting, which are generally the first three weeks on um, an Easter there on our website already. and we were like, let's do a little short version of these over Easter, because that's what we're going to do. And um, yeah, it's just like a one day, come in, have fun, you don't have to have experience, or you can have experience. We split it kind of by age, so you're with people of a like-minded, we always kind of split people by age, even if it's a bit more challenging, 
you'll learn better when you're around people who are kind of at the same level as you age wise. So you split it by age and you just have a fun day. You make new friends, you you know, I always feel that people feel very welcomed coming into Arts One. You know, oh, yeah. and we've got groups of students who I, oh, uh, you know, if we're putting somebody new into our class, I'm like, oh, could you just pair up with this person so they've got someone who they know in there? And then they're just like, yeah, come with us, and people just fit in. Mm-hmm. And that's a lovely thing about it. And it's the same with Easter schools. You can have never been to Art One, you can have never have danced in your life, but come along for a fun day because that's what it's about. It's about so places are still available, are they? Yes, yeah. they are. They're available for both of those ones, yeah. So social media contacts? Yeah, we are Arts One School of Performance on Instagram and we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter and you can find me and James on LinkedIn. We're a bit we're everywhere really. You are. Um yeah. It's a great website as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it really easy to navigate. Yeah. yeah, we redesigned our website this summer um, and it's very fancy. And, um, but easily navigate. It's Nav- so Navigable. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a word? Navigable? I like it, I'm going to use it. Navigable or navigatable? Navigatable. Our producer's not you a can, navigator. Okay. Well, I just you know. can navigate the website easily. It is, if you jump on, and we run a lot of classes and we're aware of something like, oh, what is that? And you can jump onto the timetable, you put what age you are and it will show you what the best classes are for you. Give us a ring, we have an amazing reception team. You've got Scarlett, Oakley, Clay, or myself, you might get on the phone. And just go phone and be like, I want to get into it, where do we start? My four year old child fancies doing a bit of dancing. And we'll chat about what's the right thing for you. And sometimes our initial phone calls with people can be like, 20 minutes, half an hour, that's okay, we've got time for you. Because we want you to be doing the right thing that you want to do. It's not about us forcing you into things. It's if you want to come to us, you want to pick us, let's find the right classes for you, which is going to get you to where you want to be. And you, know? you, you absolutely do that. And, you know, I, I, it's such a special place. And Arts One will always hold a special place in my heart. Because, you know, as I said to, to James before, and you know, what I said to you is, what Arts One did for my son Benji will has ch- changed his life forever. James yeah. reached out, gave him an opportunity for someone he didn't even know, said he'd mentor him, gave him a place last minute, and changed Benji's life. And you know, he got three offers from four, you know, four or five offers from all the schools he went to, auditioned for, and he would never have had that without Arts One. And he's living his best life. He's an addict now, and he's just happy he comes back to teach at Arts One. Yeah, and I love does. the fact that he comes back to teach, and it means that you know I get to see him. But it's lovely that connection. You never lose touch with your students, do you? You never leave Arts One. No. And we always say that, and it's a bit of a joke we have. And you know, I started to say four years ago, I'd done one show, and then I done another show, and then I started on a part time basis, and I'm there all the time. You're there forever. And you are, and. I don't think I do I have it any other way. Teachers who leave us always come back and one of our teachers has just got a performing job so she's left last week and she's like, but I'll be back. And, and it's that thing, people do always come back and yeah, we needed a teacher and we give Benji a ring. He's like, yeah, I want to come back. And every time he's saying, it's like, get anything else for me. And it is lovely. It's so that, wonderful. You know, because they know the way we train, they know the way we want people to train. Mm-hmm. You know, our teachers work, we've got a varying degree. Some teachers teach one hour a week because they're a specialist in that field. Mm-hmm. You know, Jake teaches commercial, he teaches one hour a week on our part time, he also teaches our sixth form. And then we've got Hannah, who's our ballet teacher, she's full time, but she teaches ballet because that's what she's trained in. And I think that's important that in my role, I kind of keep everyone in touch. So a student will come to me, like, oh, this Hannah, like, yeah, I know, I've heard about it from your four teachers because we all talk, we all communicate. And that's important. We, you know, if you do all your classes at Arts One, we can look at you as an overall individual and be like, are they at the same place in every class? And, are they coping with everything? And that's quite exciting about Arts One as well. Oh, it is amazing. And uh, the question that I ask all my guests is top three shows. Uh, oh, it shouldn't be hard so for you. It shouldn't, but it is. Notes. Right. It's quite hard. It's like choosing your favourite child. Yeah, exactly. So, my favourite show is Wicked. And is that because you've been a part of it? No. Because I've seen it a lot of times and I don't tell anyone. Cause how many times have you actually seen it fess up? I lost count, it's over 20. Wow, that's... Um, I saw it, so my dad brought me down to London when I was like 15 and uh, he's like, what do you want to see? I said, let's go and see Wicked. And then it became like a yearly trip, me and my dad done every oh, year. Oh, that's so lovely. It was amazing. And now he comes down and sees what I work on, it's mad. Um, but it was the first thing I saw and I was just blown away by it. Every time I, even like now when I work on it, I'm still like, oh, I've never noticed that before. Yeah, yeah. It's just something magical about that show. It's crazy. Um, and then... I love Dogfight. I've not seen that. Right, so Dogfight is a, it is written by Pazek and Paul, I think, who wrote like Dear Evan Hansen and stuff, but before they were big. And it was done kind of, it was done at Southwark Play, this little fringe venue. It's just a nice, simple show. Beautiful music, because that's what they write. Um, those two. 
and then you've asked me 50 of mil. You don't have to give. There's just so many. It's, it's, re it's really hard to choose. I mean, yeah, it's, it's and there's so many for different reasons. Yes, I Jamie. Think I saw Jamie for the second time this week. Loved Jamie's it. Jamie's great because it's just is what it is. I love a show that is what it is. Like I saw Waitress on Broadway. I was really lucky, and I saw Sarah Bareilles in it. And lucky you. It was just so simple, and there's something about a show that just doesn't try to be anything it's mm. not. It's like here's what it is. Here's incredible music, incredible staging. Come from away. That's my third. Okay. Okay. One. okay. Yeah, everyone's Simple, like effective, that. done. Fabulous. Oh, it's been such a pleasure. Honestly, we could witch around for like two hours, but yeah, time, you know, come back again. I will. It's been me. such fun. And uh, yeah, no, Ross Jarden, white. Yes. See, I said you're saying wrong for all these years. It's been <laughs> such a pleasure. And I said, we've had such a good, a good chat. And I say, please, you know, head over to Arts One. You know, so if you've got a child who loves the arts in any way, shape or form, wants to perform, you guys are the best in the business. And I'm so proud to be associated with you. I really am. We're glad to have you. I love that the fact this podcast exists. Like, it's bringing arts to Milton Keynes. And I, for instance, living here, arts is a huge thing in Milton Keynes. And you're telling everyone. It's great. Oh, no, I, I feel very privileged. And, um, yeah, you can catch my uh, show on Nancy Stevens' Arts and Style Show. It's on iTunes and Spotify and Spreaker. And now I have these... Uh, Smazzy, I'm going to say smart or snazzy, and that came out of snazzy cards that I'm going to, I'm handing out in the theatre now, asking people to download the QR code, and you can download my podcast. Easy peasy, get me, I'm so techy now. Yeah. I can't take any credit, that's my amazing producer Paul, he's put all that together, so, and he's the one who does all the clever shenanigans behind the scenes, but uh, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure, Ross, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, enjoy, you know, enjoy the rest of what what's planned, and I'm sure I'll see you before the summer's out, so thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Bye.